I have consulted the old lady. The old lady has given me an advice. And I think that advice is correct. Because the issue raised by the majority leader is both of substantive and procedural law. And I need time to submit to this House a reasoned, written ruling. This is how the Speaker left matters on whether or not a Dom Kwabinya seat should be declared vacant based on the provisions of Clause 1C of Article 97 of the 1992 Constitution as the country awaits the ruling of the Speaker when Parliament is back from recess in October. A senior member of the majority in Parliament, Katie Hammond, has hinted that the Apex Court's original jurisdiction may be invoked. The issue is that, okay, so who now takes the, the further decision to remove her from ballot? Is it plenary? Is it a, a, a committee of privileges? Is it a speaker? Or what? Um, I, 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 I read the, 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 the judgment of the, the Court of Appeals uh, last and, and uh, I was even more baffled by uh, what, what you did against her. I think that as I said, as we will have to come to a with this matter and then we go. But the minority is of the view that any move in that regard will be self seven. Ahmed Ibrahim is the deputy minority chief whip. It will be self seven. Could, could compromise parliament. It will it's like what happens in parliament is a closed book. Mm. So now you are bringing the Supreme Court into matters of a case. Listen, matters of a case on which the Supreme Court itself interest of the Supreme Court is at stake. So how will, what do you think that will be the move of the Supreme Court on matters like this? Your interest is at stake. Parliament is deciding on it. It's a three months period. Now you say that you are now coming to decide on what Parliament has programmed that we are going to decide on it by third week in October. For, to be able to fast track the process for Parliament to be able to pass, have the majority to pass your four justices for you. Do you think that the Supreme Court will look good in the eyes of Democratic watchers if they do that? So clearly, Katie Amon is a lawyer, but he must tread with caution. 